all right dudes and dudettes welcome to a brand new series called feed the beast ultimate reloaded now back a while um about two years ago i did a, a series on this on the older channel um where you know it was just it was just feed the beast ultimate so the fact that it's reloaded i'm actually very excited because they've been, you know gone ahead and updated updated it to the latest version um so i'm very curious to see what has changed um so it looks like we have a ravine, a triple ravine. Is that right? So one here, one here, and then one down lower. I mean, that's pretty cool. Is there anything cool? Oh, oh my gosh, I almost died. Is there anything cool that we can see down here? Uh, there's redstone that we can go get. Uh, we seem to have bees everywhere, which is cool. Um, we're going to grab this cactus. First block of the game is cactus. What the heck? Oh, those bees. These are so cool looking. We might need to like really think about getting into that. Oh, man. So, um, in the mod generation, or not the, the terrain generation, I went ahead and just put potato in, because I felt like that would be funny, but, uh, you guys can go ahead and put that, I don't know if it's the same, but look at that, um, I don't want to be sprinting too much, because we don't have a steady source of food, um, so let's see, we're gonna go over, over here, okay, so there seems to be a village over here that I just saw, um, so we're gonna head over that way. These rabbits seem to be a little, a little scared of myself, which is pretty cool. Oh, cool! Check these out. Are these what I think they're called? Cinder pearls. These are from Thomcraft, right? Yes, they are. Do these set you on fire? No, these are not the ones that set you on fire. That's good because I totally just went to test it out by walking into it, which would have been really bad <laughs> to find out that way, you know. Um, so, ooh, that's weird. Oh, okay, so here's our food. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. This will be some good food early on. I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. Okay, so we can make all the foods. What are you? Hobbs. Okay, you're Hobbs. All right, so there are villagers here. Do they have the modded traits? Oh, so we have a leather worker here. He seems to be pretty normal. But that guy has overalls on. I bet you he's got some interesting traits. Cartman. I feel like there's a funny thing there. Okay, we're going to grab some more of these carrots. So now we have a pretty good source of food. Uh, I don't plan on building out here in the desert. I'd like to find a good place over there in the world. Manual, rolling machine, and... Okay, so crowbar, that's good. Some coal. Uh, we, don't, we don't really need any of those. We don't need any of those, but I'm uh, going to grab some more food. We're going to head back over toward our spawn area because we need to get rolling on some things. We need to start doing the basic Minecraft stuff. And we also forgot a carrot. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we got some basic tools going on. I figured I'd just give you guys my initial uh, response to how I feel about this pack because a lot of the mods that we're used to seeing aren't in here. Like, there's no Tinker's Construct. There's no Draconic Evolution. There's not even any Project E, which is some of the, the ones I've been really having fun with lately. Um, there's, like, there's, let's see here. If we go, um, I mean, there's no generators. Um... So power, we're pretty much have to go with IC2, industrial craft. That's a hashtag. Whoops, uh, industrial craft. So we're gonna have to go with a lot of industrial craft um, machines here. We're getting like a nuclear reactor going, which I've never actually done anything with. So I am very excited about this. Um, it, it's honestly, it feels like a retro pack almost. Like we're going back to when like mods first started really getting popular. Um, so it's, it's actually, I'm, I'm like really excited about it. Um, that it is going to be a bit like, of you almost have to like readjust to the mod pack. Um, tin looks like it used to, I don't know. It's been a while since I've actually looked at tin ore because I was, I've been sifting it for the past like five or six months. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I actually, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. Um, actually I want to see, do we have our old cables back? Like the glass fiber cables? We do. So this is going to be... Like these transmit, as you can see, 512 EU per tick. Um, which EU was something we had before our F, really. And then rubber we'll be using. We'll probably get some resin trees. Man, this this feels like I'm going back in time almost playing this pack. So I'm going to keep 
collecting up some resources. I'll show you guys what, I, what I've got here after a little bit. All right, we're back from our little adventure here, and this is what I was able to uh, pull out. Uh, 56 iron ore. We got a little bit of copper, some tin, some coal, so that's all good. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff smelted up here. Uh, but I have gone ahead and kind of made a home here. So we're probably going to try to make this our home. Um, I don't have really any materials yet to make it. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to use any of the marble that's down in the caves. not able to use any of the marble down there because it has a harvest level of diamond and we're clearly not at diamond yet but we might be i'm not a hundred percent sure perfect we got hemp seeds these are the seeds i wanted to get get plant oil from them and let's see what do you use plant oil for oh yeah you just use it to you know, to make impregnated sticks and stuff like that so we'll end up using we'll need these to get the impregnated casings from forestry so that is for pretty much a future thing. I have yet to see any rubber trees around, so I'm not too excited about that. Our other means of getting, um, oh, there we go. Our other means of getting the uh, rubber for some of our cables that we'll be needing pretty soon. But we gotta have that pickaxe, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and make up an axe so I can start chopping down some of the trees here. Let's go ahead and just put those in here. Cool thing is we do have applied energistics in the pack. So that is a awesome thing. A very big benefit. Okay, we'll make two more of these. And then we'll smelt these up. Okay, those. All right. If you're wondering how I did that, uh, I just hit shift and the scroll wheel. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab some of this oak wood. Now that we have a good ax to do it, which is awesome, we're just gonna set up shop here and I think we're gonna use, oh, there's some rubber stuff, awesome. Rubber trees, so that means we don't have to go through the stupid latex method, which is so obnoxiously hard to set up for what it actually gives you. I mean, it's not hard to set up. It just it just takes a lot of crafting. It's annoying. It's one of those annoying things. So I'm going to keep collecting up this wood. I'm sorry these are all kind of short clips. I and mean, this is just the basics of Minecraft. I mean, we're not really getting into the meat of this pack here for a little bit. Um, I was actually planning on getting into Tinkers the next episode at the beginning of this. Uh, as I started recording, but then I looked at the... Uh, went to put in the crafting table. The the Tinker's crafting table, where you put the crafting table back into your inventory and basically just craft it out. Um, and it didn't give me that, so I was like, oh crap, do we not have Tinker's? So I checked it, and I was like, oh boy, um, this is like a retro pack, isn't it? And that's when I started getting the nostalgia of, you know, when I first got into, like, really get doing, like, modded stuff. This was the pack that I played. So uh, I'm going to keep going. We got some piggos over there. We got some cowers. Um, so I'm going to, we're going to be back. I'm going to, we're going to build some, some cool things. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start setting up shop here. I want this area uh, to kind of look like it's got some supports going on. The torches on here, I forget how annoying they actually do get. Um, so, you know, the more I've, I've been thinking about the pack itself, the more I'm, like, realizing just what it is. Um, so I'm pretty sure they just took all the mods from... The original FTB Ultimate, and they've just like updated them, and that's what we have. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, that's what they were going for. There's nothing wrong with that, um, but I, I am actually like extremely excited about this. Um, like, I haven't been this excited for a mod pack in a, a long while. Like, I, like, I'm excited because I get to use. Um, like, I've always wanted to like force myself to use. Um, what's it called? Immersive engineering earlier on in the mod packs. Uh, you know, than other than card. And, garden cloches toward the end of the game uh so i'm really excited that i get to to really use that for power like i haven't before um and it like it really excites me like i get i get really excited i get so excited and i just can't hide it so we're gonna be using oak for the walls 
Um, we're going to be using birch for the floors. And we're probably going to be using cobblestone for the, the roof. Uh, I don't ever like to use the same uh, type of material on the floor and walls just because I think it, it needs to be different in my book. So that's why we're doing that. We're going to put a nice window here. So it'll be five wide. So one, two, three, four, five on the sixth one. There we go. All right, we're going to come across. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. And then on the back is going to be our, um, where all of our chests go. And it's good to always remember to plan where your chests are going before you build or while you're building. That way you, you don't just have like chests in front of a random window and you're like, ah, I wish I would have thought about that sooner because they feel like, hey, listen to Super Turtle and I would have thought about that. It'd be good. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead like this, cover that up and do some of this. Um, so I do have a question for you guys down in the comment section. I would love to know what you guys are most excited for about this mod pack. Um, I am super excited and I'm pretty sure you guys are too. Uh, so down below, let me do, let me know what you think of it. And I don't like this. Now that I think about it, I don't like this block. I don't think it's a good idea. Like this, this one's fine, but this one, yeah, it's no good. It, it closes it off too much. Yeah, that's nice and open. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sleep here so we don't die because death in the night would not be a good thing. Okay. So our chest wall, we're gonna have a pretty big wall. So chest will be here. So we need the wall to be here, which means this one needs to be here. Okay, let's go ahead and clear this out. And I didn't think about the bed. That's one thing I did for it. But I do want this to be two-story. Um, so there's that, part two. Uh, I guess I need to go collect some more wood. I'll be back. Okay, so don't be too alarmed. I'm just kidding. Uh, I went ahead and finished up our starter base here. Uh, I'm liking it a lot. I got the, the glass in on the sides. Let's go ahead inside. I'll show you around. Just give you the tour. Give you the nice tour. We got some uh, furni here on the left and on the right. I figured this would be a great place to put them since you can't see it from anywhere. Um, we got our big windows over here so we can see what time of day it is. Put our bed here. Uh, so we will respawn here just in case we do die. Uh, it is foreseeable in the future because it is me. And then over here, guys, this is our wall of chests. Um, I do have these somewhat sorted out here. Uh, nothing too fancy. And then here on each side will be a ladder going down and one going up for our second floor. And for our basement where all of our machines are going to go for the beginning. Um... So I'm just looking ahead at immersive engineering because I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to kind of have like a town going on, I think, would be pretty cool. And each little house has a different machine going on after, you know, we, we kind of branch out from our little base down here. Uh, so let's see. We're going to have to go with a water mill. And water, here's the water mill thingamabobber. Um, that's weird. It didn't show me. Does it not give you the recipes for these? Uh, that's, no, it does. It's just not for immersive engineering. Okay. Oh, it probably, it's going to force me to use the book. I bet you the book here, where's the book? I bet you this has a crafting recipe. Uh, which that sounds too bad. Cause, let's see. Oh, that does. Uh, no, it does. That's weird. So only certain things have crafting recipes. Okay. Oh, there's the book. The book doesn't even have a crafting recipe. That's weird. Okay, but uh, we're going to be getting into that in the next few episodes. But guys, this has been the first episode of Feed the Beast Ultimate Reloaded. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I'm out. Peace out. I hope you have a great day. See you tomorrow.